Oh, it's Sunday morning. Warming up the machine. It's, uh, let me get this brush off the landing here. It's been pretty rough. That thing's gonna take a little while to warm up, so I'll make a video anyways. But this logging business has been pretty dang rough. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, we're having a really hard time getting rid of wood right now. We can get rid of all the saw logs that we can produce, but we ain't got nowhere to go with the pulp and we're not going to leave it in the woods. So, in that case, we're kind of jumping around back and forth, cutting what we can get rid of. We're thankful that one of our truckers had two extra tickets for the month for some red pine pulp, or for pine pulp, so I'm going to come up here and cut some red pine today. We were cut back, but they've cut us back even more. And the prices are falling out of the sky. So... We got a bunch of aspen to cut on this job, and we've got two loads to fill yet, but after that, I don't know if we're going to be able to even fill anymore. Problem is, is the place that we have left to take it to, the price dropped, and we'd be paying to haul it up there. And another problem that we have is there's a mill five miles away from this driveway to driveway five miles and there's a mill that uh, we could take a lot of this wood to but they don't give us any contracts so we got to ship it a hundred miles away and that eats up all the profits so it's just rough right now and for the guy I'm cutting for, the money's going out faster than it's coming in because of breakdowns on the machine and fuel and whatever else. It's just always something. But my heater went out the other day in there and the swing froze up. And well, the swing's been working good now. I think I got all the water figured out, but. I had to put a new blower motor in it, just among a lot of stupid other things that happen all the time. Not being able to get rid of much of our wood, it's been rough. So, I got to come in here into this plantation. This is a first thinning. I already did half of it already. It only took... About a day and a half to do it, roughly do half of it. But it's a first thinning. I'll show you here what I'll be doing. You can see here every tree is marked, so this would be like every third row goes out, and then they'll have. I'll just go to the end down here, show you how this is done. You see the spacing here where the trees didn't take when they planted them. Uh, this plantation should have been thinned a long time ago. This is probably a 50, 60 year old plantation. So, that'd be the first tree to go and then that one there would go, but that's not even in that row. But it's double there on the corner. So, this whole entire row goes all the way straight down so I can drive down it and then Every now and then they'll have a tree mark on either <clears throat> either side. Then we'll go over here. And then here's another third row that you take out all the way down. And then they'll have one here and there marked all the way down. Same with here. This is ones that are marked. And then this here. 
would be your third row. You'd take every single tree in a line with. Then you get your couple marks. <clears throat> what ticks me off with this job is in some places like here, Notice that? It's not just some places, it's all places actually. How's the forester know which way you're coming down? How does he know which way you're coming? Look at this. You can't hardly see that paint. Sure, I know if I'm going down this row, I gotta take the whole entire row out, but the trees that are to the side, Let's go to another row here since these ones here aren't even hardly marked. This forester did a crappy job marking this plantation. So this is your third row that would come out. Let's walk it. They didn't hardly mark anything here. And there's a lot of small trees that should come out so that these guys here can get bigger. There's a lot of open spaces in here too where the trees didn't take. But if you look, where they did mark the trees, that's not in the row that I have to take the whole row. They never marked the other side of them. So if I'm coming from the other way, how in the hell am I supposed to see what I gotta cut? How do I know? I end up getting all the way down there and I look back and then I gotta come all the way back here and cut the trees that I missed. So what do they what do they pay these guys for? That's just uh it's not how you do your job. I mean how does the forester know what way I'm gonna be coming down? They don't. They should be marking both sides of the tree. It's like that. Sure, this main row is marked both sides, but none of the other ones are. And throughout here that I've already harvested, not many trees are marked at all that I could even see until I got all the way down and finally noticed them. But today I'm going to come in here and whack as much of this as I can. And we had two loads of pine and then I started cutting popwood hardwood. So I filled those and I come over here and I started cutting all of uh, the aspen that was in here. It was all along this edge. That's why you can't see nothing. All the grouse just took off. That's cool. I've seen a few of them out here. But I took out all the aspen. Oh, there's another grouse and another grouse. Two more that just took off. Looks like a good place to come grouse hunting. I haven't seen too many grouse lately, in general. Maybe they're finally having a comeback right now. But there was cherry and elm and black oak throughout here that I took out. That all goes, like some of these popple here, or aspen, whatever you want to call them. 
same difference here they're dead so uh, they just stay standing because it's a DNR job and you want stuff for the wildlife and let's see here walk down here to this other end through less brush But there used to be an old farm or something like that out here, and I've metal detected this long ago. Found some neat stuff. There's an old bottle dump out here, and this is where that gigantic cottonwood's at. I'm sure that machine's not ready yet, so I'll just keep rambling on. I don't know why, but that computer and that machine's got to be warm before it'll turn on. It's got to run the heat to it for a while. And then it finally just pops on. Right, there was a bunch of oak throughout here, black oak, the one all the white oak stands, so leave that. And that leaves me with these ugly things that I can't take out with the harvester I'll be hand cutting them there's not too many but these trees in here are just bushy real bushy almost to the old farm foundation This here, that's the big old tree. I thought it was an oak at first because the way the bark is, it kind of looked like an oak when I was in the machine, but I had to get out of the machine and actually look at it. It's hard to tell with the windows and that thing what stuff is sometimes. So, and if you're looking at it like this right now, it looks like a big oak tree. Well, that's a cottonwood. Look up at the top, it's got some white branches in it. All the maples stay, although they should be cut, like that thing there should go. They're just oversized. They ain't gonna live forever. And, uh, cut the aspen out of here. There was just a little stand of aspen right here. And then, uh, Here's where the old barn, I think it would be a barn foundation, <laughs> sits. It's all stone. I like this here tree, that's box alder, that ugly thing will come out of here. I still got to come in here and do this whole side yet, but I wanted to walk this being that the foundation was here. I wanted to walk all this first before I fall in a big hole with the machine or something. But these are all old ugly box elder. They all gotta come out. I knew this was here. I knew this guy was here, so just wasn't sure if there was any other ones like it. You just don't know. But you could see the foundation all along here. And then it's all ends right here and straight that way. I don't know. This wasn't a very big barn at all. And this isn't very good ground to be raising cattle on, so I don't know what kind of farm this was, or even if it was a farmer. What the heck? 
I just don't know. But I did find a, I did find an old bottle dump over here that I found some stuff from the early 1900s in. And as old as this property is, and that barn foundation, imagine there's been people on it for years. And this is probably the old swinging tree. Couldn't tell you how big it is, but it is big. Took and moved everything out of here. There's a bunch of box elder and scrubby cherry growing in here, and I moved everything out. And the oaks growing in here, the black oak. It was bushy like that. They're so hard to process. There's so much brush on them. And those aren't easy trees to process with the machine. So you ain't got much you can do with the brush, but just pile it up. But that's the swinging tree. That is a big old cottonwood. And I believe that uh, the politicians nowadays and all the corruptness going on in America, if, uh, if, uh, those times were happening at the times this tree was young they'd be swinging they would be a swinging from this old swinging tree you don't just get that big overnight that, that tree is just that's huge <clears throat> That stump sticking up and that bigger cherry butts a foot easily so how big is that I'll park the machine next to it I'll take a picture and I mean this is a cool old tree I got the blue paint on it because it's not supposed to be cut. I just I mean there's a semi load there's a semi load of wood in just this thing. Those branches on here are as big as trees. That branch right there is probably twenty eight it's got to be 28 inches. It's got to be 28 inch branch on it. And so is that one up there. And some of those are probably 20 inches. This thing's just huge. And the old bottle dump was right back in here. Uh, looks like I got a elm there I gotta take out yet. See I missed that. Like I said, when you're in that machine everything looks the same. And these here are white oaks. All these little guys here, but you can tell there's a big difference. So anyways, ah, it's just cool, just cool to think the things that this thing has saw. The winters it's weathered, but I'm going to go check on this machine and go and start whacking some red pines. Thanks for watching, everybody.